Hi everyone, welcome. Uh, my name is Sebastian and in this video, this is just a video response to uh, Matthew here who asked me, do you know how to host this on a server or on GitHub pages? I'm looking to be able to host this on a site, not just on localhost. Any advice or input would be great. And what he was referring to was a video I uploaded on YouTube where I showed how to um, add a 3D model to a website in eight minutes. And if you play the video, this is what it was so it was showing a 3d model in the web browser that you could um, that you can have so I'm just going to show you how to put this on github pages now if I go into terminal and I cd into Garmin watch this is what we had before and if I go to npm run dev if I go to localhost, this is what we had before, which was basically a Garmin watch in the web browser. Now this is a running using localhost, but we want to run this on GitHub pages, right? So the first step, if you look at this fo folder, and if you look at, actually we could open up in we can open this up in um, Sublime Text. First step is we want to run npm run build, which is going to build the project for production. And that's what you could put on a hosting platform like any host, or you could use GitHub pages. So you want to run npm run build. So if I run that in the terminal, I'm just going to control C or um, not command C, but control C going to run npm run build and what that's going to do is that it's going to build all the distrib uh, dis, um, the distribution uh, files to host on a website and if I open this up it's going to run it's going to be in a dist folder it's going to be the distribution files if I open this up it's basically an index and a bunch of assets so we have the index folder and the assets. So it's like we have a classic watch. We could get rid of that. And we have these files right here, Garmin watch index and uh, this minified CSS and the minified JavaScript. Okay. And basically what we want to do is um, if we open this up on a local server, now we could just put the disk folder right here. If we run, we have MAMP running in the background on PHP version 7.4, but it could be 7.2, doesn't really matter. If we actually go to MAMP's local host version right here, and we open up the disk folder, it's actually gonna be empty. And the reason for that is because if you look at the inspect element, if you look at console, it's actually not pointing to the right uh, file so the link is broken so if we open this up what we'll notice here is that there should be a dot in front of these assets either a dot or you could remove the slash but if we if we just do that it's gonna work so you could either add a dot or you could remove these all together that works too so that works too but if you, if you don't have a dot or, or, or remove the slash, it's not gonna work. So we need to have a dot and it's gonna work as you can see. And this is basically what you upload to, to GitHub pages. Um, so let me just save that, okay? Now if I just put, move this here, I'm gonna go to GitHub now. I'm going to add a new repository, so I'm going to call it Garmin Watch. I'm going to make this public. Three D Garmin Watch website. Um, add a readme, sure. Create a repository. And I'm just going to clone it onto my uh, desktop. Okay, actually, I, I, um, I had this going on before, so I'm just going to try that again. Uh, 
and Garmin watch. Um, Garmin watch. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm, I'm putting it into my web folder. Okay, that's fine. And what we want to do is we want to um, put Hold on a sec. Where is the dist folder that we had before? Did I put in garbage? No. Um, Not sure what I did with it. Oh well, let's just recreate it, I guess. It's fine. Maybe I deleted it by accident. I'm just gonna go clear this. CD into this. I run NPM run build okay that's fine I'm not sure what I did initially with that disk folder oh it's on my desktop I just didn't notice it because I had all these windows open okay that's fine Okay, so we're just gonna put the index and the assets here. Uh, I'm just going to uh, remove the GLB file because it's a little bit heavy. And we're just gonna add that with terminal. So um, all I'm gonna do now is go to get uh, the, the desktop app. I'm gonna write feet all and uh, add um, website files. Okay, so we're just gonna do that. We're gonna commit. That was quick, nice and quick. I'm gonna put this here. Now this part is a little bit tricky, but we're gonna use terminal to, uh... no, we don't wanna CD into that. Actually, we could, we could just put that here. Yeah, so we wanna CD into this. Now we, what we want to do is we want to say git status. Okay, so we want to say git at dot. Okay, git status. Git commit with a message saying um, feed. Add. I'm just going to make it very simple saying add GLB file. Git commit m add GLB file. Okay, good. Now we just need to write git push. This should work. Now this will probably take a little bit of time. Uh, last time I did this, I was um, probably not the most patient, but I, I realized that this probably just takes a little bit of time because it's a large file. And I'm hoping that uh, everything goes through successfully. So hopefully this won't take too long. Okay, good, it's, it's already done, perfect. Okay, so if I go here, let's see what I uploaded. Okay, so we have the index file, we have the assets, if we open this up. We have the Garmin watch, perfect, we have everything. 
Now, if we go to settings, what we want to do is we want to go to pages and we want to make sure that our main page is actually set up as a, a GitHub page and everything should work very soon. So I'm just going to close this. So that's perfect. I'm just going to close terminal. Close sublime text. We don't need that. Uh, let's see if we have the the page. Not yet. Um, by the way, um, if you want to uh, commit messages, you typically want to add the hyphen M before you write a message. Is something I, I have to tend to remember or I tend to forget, to be honest. And um, another thing you want to do with GitHub is that you want to also make sure you have a personal access token when you're using the terminal with GitHub because you want to have a personal access token that allows you to um, to allow you to uh, write terminal commands with Git so that you could use Git push and push into GitHub. So you need a personal access token and it's going to ask for your username and password. And the password is actually going to be from the access token itself. And here's a page on GitHub that shows you how to create access tokens. So that's also very important. So if we just go to pages, we should be able to refresh. And if we go here, it's just going to download the GLB file. And just like that, we have, um, you know, we have the watch in 3D on GitHub pages. So all that took was the command um, npm run build, where you have to build the project into a dist folder. You upload that dist folder either on a hosting platform or on GitHub pages, and you're good to go. When you're uploading larger files on GitHub, you do want to use Git in the terminal rather than the desktop app, but you should be good to go. So um, thanks, guys, and... Um, yeah, hope you enjoy. That's how you upload these uh, type of websites uh, live. If if you were using a hosting platform, like a shared hosting platform, basically all you would do instead, in, instead of using GitHub, you would just upload this folder, right? That is the disk folder into your hosting platform and that would be pretty much it. So hope you enjoyed and uh, take care. Cheers.